I'm Jennifer and I'm dance captain this year for Edinburgh Bangor Crew. I'm Emma Caro and I'm part of the Edinburgh University Bangor Society. Bangra is a dance form. It's a traditional Indian folk dance um, which originates um, from Punjab and um, it's it's a kind of celebratory, joyful um, dance which um, is associated with harvest. It's very rhythmic, very energetic, lots and lots of fun. We would have two classes a week, two two hour classes a week, um, and we would meet in a dance studio, uh, and we'd have uh, two to three dance captains teaching um, a class of I don't know anywhere between six and thirty people, something like that. And um, after the practice, there would tend to be. Um, some kind of social afterwards where we could get together. Going out for dinner or drinks, um, you know, that sort of thing. I wasn't seeing my friends anymore. So we were kind of suddenly thrown into a situation where we couldn't see each other. Um, I would say that in some way it was difficult to kind of find things to look forward to and have structure. People have been finding it more difficult to be motivated um, and to kind of get together and practice. We could meet a certain number of people and so we had like meetups within the guidelines where we could dance socially distanced in the meadows in Edinburgh. Um, so that was really nice and we had hoped that the restrictions would continue to ease so that we could do more of that. We've not been able to put on those large events that we normally would um, and that was like a really good way as well to raise money for the society and get a lot of attention there. When we did go back to classes, um, when classes were to start up again, um, we had to kind of switch to online um, but you know it it changed a lot. We didn't get as many people attending. You know, people would come to our in-person classes and they'd be working towards something throughout the year, like our showcase or our performances. And that provides like a really big incentive to come and motivation. You get to dress up in your costumes and use the props and it's really exciting and fun and be with each other. It's just, it's, that's, it, being together, it's what it's all about. But we couldn't do that. So we had to think of other things. Um, so the sessions that are currently running, um, we have two sessions a week and they're around an hour and a half long on Zoom. And instead of, you know, two or three dance captains being there in front of a class to teach, it's just one of us, so it's just me um, teaching the class um, to a lot of little screens, <laughs> which has been quite tricky sometimes because you can't always see everyone clearly or you can't see all of everyone so it's really hard to tell how people are doing in a class when you're in a room in person you can assess how like if someone's struggling um, if you need to explain stuff more you know it, it's harder on screen. I think it's strange um, because I've been quite new to Bangra so I feel that I've maybe not been able to pick up on the new moves as well and like learn it to as high a quality as the rest of the people that are in the group. Um, so in that way I found it hard because you can't really tell if someone's not maybe doing the dance move 100% um, correct. Um, so I find that difficult. It's harder to kind of just say, is everyone okay? You don't get an answer because everyone's on mute. You have to kind of like look through the screens and see if they've got their thumbs up and things like that. There's now people that are being able to be part of the society from different parts of the UK. We even had some of the students um, in different countries as well um, when they've been stuck there since Christmas. So in that way, it's really opened the door to allow everyone to take part no matter where you are. Because it's quite energetic, um, you know, there's a lot of kind of bumping that goes on. And I think some people's neighbours do not like that. I think in some ways you still, like I still feel like tired after it and it feels good to be able to dance so I think that that's definitely um, really good but um, it's perhaps different from being able to meet in a big group together. I think cause our turnout is a lot less than it used to be. Um, people are less motivated to come 
whether it's because they feel like they don't have space to dance so they're not going to enjoy it or they've done a lot of online things you know in their day already whether it's you know to do with work or um uni classes whatever um they like i've spoken to people who think who feel like oh but i've been doing online things all day I, I i don't want to come to an online class which i can understand um but the people who do come um i think they have said you know even though they felt tired or lacking in energy after class they feel like energized and their mood is boosted so I, I do think there is like there is still the ability for that to happen so um, being based in Edinburgh there's quite a lot of green space so I think it would be really good as lockdown starts to ease and we come into summer that we could maybe have a few sessions in the park and be able to practice um, more together but still in more of a like open environment this term we've been working towards making like individual videos of what we've been working on dancing uh, to a routine and then we'll put them all together into like a performance video so it'll be part of a like an online showcase um, and it, so that'll be like a really nice achievement for the year. So on Zoom we've been recording the dances at the end of each session to help practice. Doing those things like making the videos, putting them together um is learning a different skill as well so yeah there's loads we've learned yeah new skills adapting to new circumstances yeah i guess normally and um, with it being a university society it will have a break for the summer so maybe when we get back together in september we would be able to have like a normal um class together in a hall which would be really good but um, hopefully there'll just be like a change over time and that we'll be able to do more and more things together.